Okay, so um, one of the types of problems we talked about today in class and also one of the problems that um, you have for homework tonight is writing the value of the underlying digit in a number. So I have the word value. I have the green little squigglies around it because I want you guys to remember that we're looking for a value. So whenever a question asks for a value, um, you're looking for a number. So just remember uh, that a value is going to make sense if you use it as a price. So if I say those headphones are uh, valued at $79, that makes sense because that's a number. But if I say those headphones are valued at the tens place, that doesn't make much sense. So remember that the value is going to be a number. So the example we have here is 7,270. And the digit 2 is underlined here. So there's a couple ways that we could go about figuring out what the value of this 2 is. Um, and we really need two uh, key pieces of information here. We need to know the digit uh, that we're working with. In this case, the digit is 2. And then we also need to know the place value of that digit. So a really helpful tool to use um, in these types of problems is actually a place value chart. And you'll notice I made my own place value chart here. It's not too fancy. Uh, the lines are nowhere near straight, uh, but it's a happy place value chart. So what I can do is, is I can go ahead and take uh, our number 7,270 and write it right onto our place value chart. So I'm going to start with the first digit to the left, which is our 7, and I'm going to place it in the thousands place and just go down the line. So I have a 7, 2, 7, 0 here. Okay, so our place value chart right here is really helpful uh, keeping um, our digits organized so we can see really quickly what place value uh, those digits are in. Okay, so uh, remember that the underlying digit was this 2 here, and you can see that it's in the hundreds place. So if we go back over here, uh, our place value is hundreds place, and I'm going to run out of room on the page. So we know the digit, we know the place value, and so now all we have to do is multiply the two together. Two times 100 is going to be, uh, well, here's a trick to find out. Whenever you're multiplying um, a digit by a power of 10, color in the zeros in the uh, power of 10 number, and you'll see you have a real basic fact right here. So we all know and can see that uh, the basic fact is uh, 2 times 1, that's going to give us 2. And how many zeros did we color in? Well, we colored in 1, 2, and that's the number of zeros we need to add at the uh, behind the 2 here. So our answer is 200. So the value of the underlying digit in 7,270 is 200. Remember, that makes sense because something could have a value of 200 bucks, right? Uh, maybe... Um, I don't know, maybe an even fancier pair of headphones could be $200. Um, okay, so that was the first type of question you guys needed to uh, uh, do on your homework tonight. The second type of question is a little more involved, um, and it is uh, asking you to, um, oh, sorry, uh, write the number in two different forms. So they're going to give you a number in some form here. Um, and you should recognize that 15,409 is written in standard form. So remember, standard form is just the normal, everyday way we usually see numbers, okay? So we start out with standard form. I'm going to put a check right here because that's what they give us. But they want us to write this number in two other forms. So if we remember from class today and... Um, 
we know that one of the forms is standard. Uh, we remember that the two other forms are word, word form, and expanded form. So uh, let's see if we can write this this number this number here in word form. All right, so we have fifteen thousand four hundred nine. So really, what I want to do is I want to take the words that I just spoke, the way I normally pronounce that number, and just translate that into words. So. Okay, so here's the word form, 15,409. If I want to add commas, I'm going to separate this word form into the two uh, periods that this number occupies. So we have the thousands period being separated from the ones period here. And notice I, I didn't write the word and. Uh, we don't say and when we read this number, and we don't write and when we express this number in word form. Okay, so expanded form, there were two different ways we talked about in class. And the, and the way that most people were familiar with uh, looked something like this. Um, so you had uh, 15,409, so you went ahead and you did... 10,000 plus 5,000 plus 400. And we can just skip the zero because the zero has no value. So we'll just skip all the way down to nine. And so this was one way that we could write expanded form for 15,409. The way that the book... Um, writes expanded form is a little fancier so we can call this fancy expanded form and really all it's doing is taking the digit and multiplying it by the digits place value so we're going to start all the way to the left my first digit is a one and its place value is ten thousand So I have a 1 multiplied by 10,000, and I put that in a parentheses. And I'm going to add that to the next digit, which is 5, times its place value, which is 1,000. And I'm going to put parentheses around this as well. My next digit is a 4. It is in the hundreds place. So I'm going to multiply this 4 by 100. And then last but not least, I'm going to go uh, straight to the nine because the zero has no value. So just like this extended or expanded form, I didn't include the zero. I'm not going to include the zero in this fancier expanded form either. So I'm just going to add all of this to the digit nine times its place value, which is one. And it looks like I just barely got the nine times one inside the page here. So. Um, when you see a problem like this, first check and see, okay, what form is the number they gave me in? If it's in standard form, I need to write the word in the, um, or the number in word form and expanded form. Um, but let's say they gave you uh, the word form of the number. Well, if they started out by giving you the word form of this number, then you'd have to write the standard form and the expanded form. So make sure you're writing the two other forms that the problem doesn't give you. So I hope this made some sense. Uh, again, um, we're going to continue working on this in class tomorrow. Um, and um, if you have any questions, please, please, please um, let me know about them tomorrow. Thank you, and I hope you guys have a good night working on your homework.